So to begin we're going to be creating a slip knot and then you guys will be chaining 12. And then on the first chain that you find you're going to be creating a slip stitch. So now you're going to be chaining 4, 2, 3, 4 and then on the same stitch, on that same one, you're going to be creating your first double crochet. So on the one that the chain is coming out of, so you're going to be creating your first double crochet right here. So now you're going to be chaining 1, you're going to be skipping a stitch, on the next one a double crochet. And then chain 1. On the same one, a double crochet. Chain one and then skip a stitch on the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then you're gonna be repeating the same steps all around the circle. So in total we need to have 12 double crochets including the chain. So when you get at the end, you're just gonna be chaining one and then with a slip stitch you're going to be connecting with the other side. So now for the next row you're going to be chaining 8. So 4 for the base plus 4 for the connection. So now we're going to be following the double crochets on the previous row and on each double crochets we're going to be creating our triple crochets. So to create the triple crochet you're going to be rolling the yarn three times on the hook and then you're going to find your next double crochet and then on that double crochet right here you're going to be yarning over through all of the loops. So one, two, three, four. So now you're going to be chaining 4, so that's for the connection between the triple crochets. So now we're going to be creating the triple crochet, so row the yarn 3 times on the hook. Find your next double crochet, on top of that we're going to be putting our triple crochet. So yarn over all of the loops in the hook. This is basically what we're going to be doing, so you're going to be chaining 4. and then triple crochet on the next double crochet on the previous row. So now you guys are going to be continuing doing the same steps all around the circle. So when you get at the end you're going to be chaining 4 and then you're going to be counting 4 stitches on this side, so 1, 2, 3, 4. On the fourth one you're going to be creating a slip stitch. So every time you're going to be adding the row, you're going to be chaining 4. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be chaining 4 now. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then now for the connection in between the triple crochets is the time that you're going to be adding 4 plus 4 for doing the increases. So you're going to be chaining 8 now. So now it's going to be exactly the same as the previous row, but of course we had on the first one, we had the double crochets, so now we're going to have the triple crochet. So we have to do the triple crochets on top of the previous triple crochets. On top of the previous triple crochet, you're going to be creating your triple crochet. So now you're going to be chaining 8. and then triple crochet on top of the previous triple crochet. And then just gonna be continuing, so chain 8 and then triple crochet on top of the previous triple crochet. And then that's it, that's the only thing that you guys are gonna be doing. Every time you add a row you're gonna have just to add 4 chains right in between the triple crochets. So count to the first 4 and then add 8 and then in the next one, 4, 12, 4, 16. So that's what you're going to be doing. So now you guys are going to be doing exactly the same all around the circle. And then I'm going to show you guys the next row as well. So when you get right at the end, you're going to be chaining 8. 
and then just like as the previous row you're gonna be counting four chains so one two three four on the fourth one you're gonna be creating your slip stitch so now for my next row we're gonna be chaining four just for the beginning and then for the connection right in between the triple crochets we're gonna be chaining 12 and then the same as the previous row we're gonna be doing the triple crochet on top of the previous triple crochet And then now we're gonna be chaining 12 and then on top of the previous triple crochet we're gonna be creating our triple crochet for this row so now for this row you can just continue in doing the same steps so you're gonna be chaining 12 and then triple crochet on top of the next triple crochet and then you're gonna be doing exactly the same all around the circle I'm gonna be stopping right here because this is everything that we're gonna be doing we're just gonna keep adding four on every and each connection in all of the rows so when I finish my spider web and I know how many rows I have I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like and how many rows I've done so for the first and tiny spider web so for this one right in the corner I've created only two rows as you can see of course including the circle but I'm counting the bigger the bigger rows so one and two so you want to have two of the tiny ones so the medium ones has four rows as you can see so one two three four and I've also done two of these so I just finished my last row and the only thing that I have to do now is just fasten off so now you guys can just weave all the yarn in the project and then you guys can just cut all of them off So as you guys can see I have finished my larger spider web and it has six rows. So in order for us to connect everything and to attach everything together, you guys will need to have all of the five spider webs completed. So I'm gonna be attaching the medium one with the larger one and just make sure that when you're sewing them together they are all on the reverse side. As you can see this is my reverse and this is my reverse as well. So I'm going to be sewing right in the middle, in the corners of course, so on this side and on that side, which I did already. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be following a line and then I'm going to be connecting with the medium one. And then as you can see, I'm going to be sewing from this point to this point. So to sew everything together, you guys will need the yarn needle and a little bit of the yarn as well, as you can see here. Just put through the loop in the needle and then just get ready to start sewing. So you will see that there is a back stitch right in the middle right here. There is the side ones there and then here and there is one right in the middle. So I'm going to be sewing from that middle stitch right here all the way across where I want to be um, sewing it together. You want to start right at the top. You want to choose a stitch. So I'm going to be choosing my last one as you can see. And then right here you want to make a knot and then you want to choose a stitch on the other side as you can see right here and then you just want to sew them two together so you don't really need to go through all of the stitches you can just jump into let's say each three stitches is just to sew everything together so you don't have to worry about that so now you're going to be choosing one from this side and then another one from the other side and then you're going to be sewing it together and then again so one from this side and then one from the other side and sew them two together and then you guys can just continue and when you get at the end you can just go through the same stitch again and then you can just fasten off so this is how it looks like so I have the tiny one the medium one and then the larger one and then you guys can just move to the other side and then you can attach the other side right here So this is everything that you guys are going to be doing, so I'm going to be showing you guys 
just a close up on how everything looks like. And then I have this one. And then I have the other side. So this is how it looks like and this is basically the end. I cannot show you guys in the camera right now, but I have some footage showing everything how it looks like. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. It's something very easy and it's so nice because you just use the same technique to create all of the spider webs. You don't have to kind of like change for all of them. You're just gonna be making less rows if you need a tiny one and then you're just gonna be increasing all of the rows if you want to make a larger one you can even make it even massive round spider web if you have a round table that's gonna look really cool so if you guys want to know exactly how many chains there is in between all of these I'm gonna leave in the comments below for the small ones for the medium ones and for the larger ones all of the rows is going to be explained in the description below if you guys want a more detailed explanation. This is just showing you guys the base, which is this, and then you can just increase to as big as you want, just adding four stitches on each row that you're going to be increasing, basically. And I really, really hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did making all of these Halloween tutorials. Let's begin with all the Christmassy tutorials and everything but I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more of my tutorials and I'll see you guys soon on my next video bye bye